Robert and I are getting ready to hit the streets. Today we're focused on really saving lives, but focusing on frostbite, um, you know, any of the extremities, fingers, toes, ears, nose, hypothermia, um, any type of cold weather related injuries. So. I was just trying to see how recent, this looks old to me. Like. Well, there's a lot of dust that comes here though. Some folks just aren't comfortable being indoors. That's where our role is to come in and just make sure that they're gonna survive through the night and survive through the day. I'm fixing your fire. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to bother her about my problem. You know? He always thinks it's a bother, so I'll yeah. bother. That's the hardest thing. Hey, how are you? Good, good. For living out here, sometimes it's like when it gets really cold and you don't have a place to be inside. Yeah. She's eating ice. She loves ice. The worse the weather gets, the harder we work. The colder it is, the the, the more demand for our job because again it's 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 a matter of life um, life or death. A lot of like the heat grates, you know, they're all over downtown in alleys and things like that. So you'll see a lot of people kind of curled up um, around those, which is is good for them, but it's also very dangerous because people don't see them. Whether they're sleeping on the streets or they're sleeping in in, in houses, people are people. So a simple hello, how are you doing, can can open up the door for a conversation to then say, you know, do you have enough blankets? Do you have a coat? Do you know where the resources are? Do you know where the emergency shelters are? Do you know where the day centers are where you can go and 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 uh, seek warmth? So um, those are some of the do's, and and you know, do feel okay. Um, you know, passing out gloves or, or socks or, uh, you know, carrying things like that in your car. Call 911 if you ever feel somebody's in danger um, or if you're concerned about their well-being. So if you see somebody, you know, maybe you do see somebody literally sleeping on the sidewalk and you're concerned for them, go ahead and call and then let the professionals determine whether that person needs um, transport or not.